everybody, welcome to my channel. So my name is Lorian, I'm a mum of five, I'm pregnant with our sixth baby and this video is what I've bought all of my children for Christmas. So there's a lot of stuff because I have a lot of children. Some of it might actually not all be for Christmas because right after Christmas um, three of my children have birthdays, two in January, one right at the beginning of February. So sometimes I overbuy Christmas because it just makes my birthday shopping a little easier and it makes it easier for Christmas too because they ask for so much that I can sort of like get it all and split it. I feel like when I lay it all out together it looks like a lot of stuff and then when I actually look at people's piles it doesn't look like a lot but it's really hard to know isn't it what to get your children for Christmas. I try and like budget an amount that I think is suitable Obviously I do have to take into account how many of them there are and I don't like also going overboard like the boys asked for a lot and I don't also like going overboard because I think you need to be, what's the word, like not grateful but yeah they need to be like understand they can't have everything and their birthdays are straight afterwards so it is a big big hit for us at the beginning and end of the year. Yeah so I'm going to show you everything I've got, I'm going to start with my seven year olds, so it's a boy. And this is what he's got for Christmas. Um, there's a couple of things that haven't arrived yet. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get on. I'm going to show you everything I got. If I've missed anything, because you know what it's like, I'll pop below what it is that I've missed. So first off, I've got him a marble run. He really wanted a marble run. And he wanted a marble run. It's his sort of thing. He's just that sort of child that likes building. He likes just activities, things like that. So he's got a marble run. Next up, I got him some blow pens, which is an animal blow pen set. I remember having this as a child. Um, and I just know he's going to find that so much fun because, as I said, he loves, like, activity sort of things. Um, and I remember how much I loved it as a child. Next up, Phoenix. If you have not heard of Phoenix, it is a comic um, for boys aged 7 to 14. So I'm going to share these between Horatio and my eldest, who is 10. But this is just something that's right down Horatio Street. So we've done the subscription before. So you start off with doing um, six issues for a pound, which is like your trial and you get them weekly. Horatio loves it. And then after the trial, it is £34.99 for 13 issues. So that is a few months worth. It works out to £2.69 a week, um, which if you think about it, it's less than a cost of a cup of coffee. And I think it's really nice for children to have things like this. So. Um, yeah, we've done the subscription. Horatio's got a ring binder, I will show you, which um, he has kept all his issues in and he absolutely loves it. A couple of other options you could do is 26 issues for 69 99 or you can do a year's worth of weekly issues for 129 99 And I really do recommend it. As I said, we've done this subscription before and Horatio just like, it gave him something to do. I love it because it's like a magazine that's funny. You can do sketches, which he loves. As I said, like he's really creative. So you've got these funny comic strips. There's competitions you can enter and there's like this um, online class you can do. It's about five pounds where you can draw with the creator. We've done that before as well. There's games to play. You can copy how they draw the characters, which Horatio absolutely loves. And do quizzes and send in your photos. But we've also purchased their books. There's a bunny vs monkey book you might know about if you've got boys of Horatio and Cosmo's age. And they did like limited edition pin badges once. And they did like 600 and we got one of those which Horatio was just so excited about. But yeah, they do loads of things like you can get party bags. So it's Horatio's birthday in January, he'll have a party so we'll probably get some party bags. I think it's a great gift idea because if you've got like a grandson or a granddaughter that will be interested in it, it's a great gift to give. I mean, the price, if you don't have much money, it starts really cheap. So you can actually give them six issues for a pound. Um, and then after that, I think it's a really reasonable price, actually quite a good price for a comic book. It could be a stocking filler, it can go in your Christmas Eve box. If like you had um, an unexpected gift to buy, you can purchase them and you can get a downloadable copy. So you could print it off or you could send it on an email and then you could give the digital gift while you wait for your actual physical magazine to turn up. During the summer, Horatio did like a digital event where, as I said, he drew a picture and you like follow it along with the person online. It's really nice. It's just, I feel like it's really educational and it's nicer than the magazines you can get in the shop because it's not full of stuff I don't like. I like myself to reduce screen time and I like to 
not fill their head with things that I don't think are child appropriate and I think these are so child appropriate so if you are interested in it I will pop all the information for it below so you can purchase it for a last minute gift a stocking filler it's just such a good idea um but yeah as I said I might pop um a couple of his Christmas Eve books I might for gifts some for Cosmo as well I then got him a tie-dye set I know he's gonna love this I also bought this for my other son um he's just really it's just his sort of thing like creating and yeah actually it reminds me i'm probably gonna have to buy some plain t-shirts aren't i he's gonna need some plain t-shirts i then got him a rock painting which is annoying it's got a sticker across the box i hate it when they do that um but he there's this facebook page like called love on the rocks and people paint rocks and they leave them around and you can find them and then tell them that you found their rock and thank them and he's gonna like this i think he's probably gonna paint them and leave them around for people um but yeah, that's just such a Horatio gift. So I also got him this, which I just know he's going to love, which is a Jack Skeleton, like watch. Um, yeah, he loves like collectible things. So yeah, that's one of it. He will love that. And then there is a Jack Skeleton key ring. He just loves to collect things, so I'm excited for him to have those. I got him Pure from Moana because Horatio loves cute things and sweet things, and I just know he's going to love this. Recently, Horatio's really got into football. He's asked for a golden football kit, but I just could not find what he meant. So he loves the colour red, so he's going to be happy with this. This comes with shorts, socks, and a top. His favourite number is 18 because it's the day he was born. Surname. Um, this watch I'm not sure whether to give to Cosmo and Horatio when I'm doing out gifts I normally add up like how much it will cost and depending on who's got the most or least it will go to one of them they both love Harry Potter and it's like a digital Harry Potter watch I think it's going to be a bit of a smart watch um, I think that was £27 I got some playing cards again I'm not sure if they'll be Cosmo's or Horatio's I got him a Lego gadgets book he loves building things and um, it tells you how to build different things you get a bit of lego in it too and then he asked for any kind of lego set so i got him the super mario lego set which is um yeah it's got peach goomba i don't know who that is toad and he loves super mario so i think he's gonna really like that we got it for a really good price from lego so i think it was 35 34.99 everywhere else it was like 50 pounds so he's also got this turning up should be coming in within the next couple of days it's like a lego chest he really wanted that um and then my son Rue, i have got him um this track looks really cool i got this on amazon and it's like a dinosaur track but it looks like they can actually go through the truck so he's gonna really like that i got a super mario uh like puck game is it called I've had that for like two years. I keep forgetting to give it to them. I got him some bits from the Disney store. So I got him a Spider-Man mask. I think it makes noises, lights up, sounds, things like that. Because I have, he has got a costume he got for Halloween. I've also bought him the scary Spider-Man costume, if that's right. I got some more tie-dye art thing because I got him this as well as Horatio. So that can go with their tie-dye art. This I've also had ages, like two years probably. It's some air dry modelling clay. My mum's bought it for them before. They really enjoy it. You can just make like lots of different sorts of things. Um, I got him some stickers. Gruffalo puzzle. He loves the Gruffalo. These, I took them out with the packaging because the box was really weird and then this box is just even weirder. It's like you couldn't even see what it was, but it's Spider-Man figures. I really love Spider-Man. Um, and I got those on Amazon. I then got him Spider-Man. So he has the Spider-Man action figure, which again, I think makes noises and talks. So I'm not undoing it making noises because I know that it'll start going off in the loft. And then this is the black Spider-Man costume that I got him. Rue is such a boisterous boy. And I know he's going to love having the dark Spider-Man because yeah, he loves it being scary and freaky. And then I got him a black panther um just an action figure actually i've had it under the bed for such a long time i always forget to give it so now is my chance and i've also got some two pack of lcd writing tablets these are like seven pounds we first saw them when we went to america and they're just like the easiest things for them to use out 
without it being a screen i hate them being on screens so yeah that should be really handy and then he has got a watch like the harry potter one i've got he has got a buzz lightyear figure i think i got him for like two pounds in sainsbury's it was crazy and uh, another spider-man figure as you can tell rue loves spider-man so these um were for horatio i forgot just found them um his friend gave him one of these in school and he lost it when we went to france so i found some more online it's like a shop called toys to you they were like 10 pounds and then you could add these kylo ren earbuds he loves kylo ren for three pounds now i'm going to go on to my son cosmo who is our eldest and he is 10 and i think he's got less items because they always want more don't they they want so much i've also got a scooter turning up for him hopefully today but i think the scooter and the chest the lego chest for horatio are the last things i'm waiting for so he wanted the hogwarts castle if you've seen the hogwarts lego castle it is 324 pounds just can't happen because that would mean i'm spending 1500 pounds on presents altogether so i got him i've looked up and you can get like five different lego sets that make the whole castle so i have started with dumbledore's office um and then i'm sure he's going to get some money for christmas so he can save up and it's going to be his birthday and he can get some more expansions to it so he's got dumbledore's office i think it was about 65 pounds so really expensive for just one present but now obviously horatio has been asking me for some harry potter lego i mean they just start asking for things that aren't on the list right up to christmas they always do it like you see the memes and you see people saying it, they really do it i got him another switch case he's got them but he just wanted he wanted harry potter switch like stickers but to go on his switch but i couldn't find any so i thought this case was quite nice um it's like grown up with him so that was about 15 pounds cosmo loves reading and facts so i got him a guinness world record 2024 book i loved these as a child i really really liked reading them um so yeah hopefully he really enjoys it i just remember it used to be really big and thick didn't it he then wanted the harry potter dumbledore's horcrux ring and i think it's like a display thing i don't know if he's expecting to play with it it was 40 pounds it goes in this case this i paid 40 pounds for it this is ridiculous but I did say to him, like, the more expensive things you ask for, the less you're going to get. He was happy with that, so. He's got the whole crux ring. He also wanted Dumbledore and Voldemort's wand. Because I got Dumbledore's win wind ring, I bought Voldemort's wand because it's just too expensive to buy it all. He just wanted so much things that cost a fortune. And this was £35 from the Lego from the Lego store, from that official Harry Potter shop. I like to buy the official ones. They are much, much, much better than the cheap ones. And then he's got a scooter turning up and a couple of extra things. He's got a... He wanted a beanie hat. And he wanted some Harry Potter slippers. So, we are almost halfway through. I have two little girls that are two and one. My one-year-old, I've not bought a lot because she doesn't know. I'm not going to go and spend a fortune. Like, um, My sister's got a little boy who, when he was one, she just bought him a lot of stuff, which is fine. It's lovely. But I, it's so pointless. They really, really don't know. They won't play a bit. You are just best off putting a bit of money away from the, for them. So I'm going to show you her bit. She's only got two things, maybe. So she has got this pram. You can't see it. Polka dot pram I got from Very for £25. Um, it's lilac colour because she's lilac. Um, and then I also bought her a doll, which was more expensive. I do think I did spend a fair bit considering her age. So Flossie, my two-year-old, has baby Annabelle. So I thought I would get a different one because lilac loves playing with baby Annabelle. So I bought Leah. Um, and she's lilac which is lovely um, so I think she's going to really like that having her own little doll and that's like 60 quid aren't they they're so expensive um, but she's really really pretty and I just know lilac is going to love having little Leah and then on to Flossie I think I've got quite a lot of bits but I can split it between her birthday it's the 20th of January I bought another packet of these um, which I've already shown you um, I think I'm going to split it. There's two in each, so I'll split it between the children. I've got her a laptop, which was about £30. She's 
she really wanted a laptop. I then got her a bead like bracelet making set. That was like four pounds on Amazon, which I thought was just a great little addition. It could even be like a little stocking filler to be honest with you. And I got her quite a few dolls and things. She's very, very girly, dressy uppy. And I've got her Cinderella. I have got her Sleeping Beauty, which they call her Aurora, which I'd never heard before. When I was little, she was always Sleeping Beauty. I've got her Ariel. They were all from the Disney store, about £10 each. I had 20% off. Um, I got her the Watch Like the Boys, but a Disney one, a princess one. And then I went into Home Bargains yesterday and Flossie loves Encanto and they had these Encanto dolls. These were the only two that were left. I don't know if the other girls were there, but they were 2 and 99 each. I mean, if you want a nice looking cheap gift or stocking filler, they are just, how good is that price? 2 99 And then I got this on Amazon. So it's a gecko which moves around. Um, I had to get it because Flossie loves, like, loves Tangled, which is Rapunzel. And she's got a little gecko like that, hasn't she? And although it's not, um, what's her name? We, she calls her 7am, so I don't actually remember her name. Although it's not Rapunzel's, um, is her name actually Rapunzel? Although it's not Rapunzel's gecko, it just looks like it. And she's going to think that that is Pascal. And then she's just started getting into trolls and I got Poppy for £10 on Amazon. I did see it in Home Bargains, it was more than that. Um, so Lilac has got one more thing, which is this bunny. I got it on Next like a while ago now. Um, it was about £10 and how cute is that? Horatio saw it actually. So no, I'm just realising I can't give it to her because Horatio's seen it. Oh, yeah, because Horatio saw it and really wanted it. Okay, I can't give it to her. I can maybe pop it in her stocking because she's not going to get as much as the others or in a little for Christmas Eve because they've all got boxes and she's not. Um, yeah, but she loves soft toys. Okay, so I've been like putting her way upstairs in between. <sighs> it gets me so out of breath. I got these from the Disney store. I think they're really sweet. So there's Moana and it comes in a little carry case. There is also Ariel and then what I would call Sleeping Beauty and it actually comes with the Fairy Godmothers and then this does come with flounder, they're really nice very very sweet and then I got her a couple of these, um, they're called anim animators so I like these, they're a really nice size um, so I got her Tinkerbell and then I also got her Elsa which I'll show you after but my camera is lint on it um, I got her this karaoke speaker because she loves the film Sing so I think this might be for her birthday I got her it in pink um, she's going to love to be able to sing you can connect songs to it and stuff but I'm thinking yeah birthday but it's got like voice changing effects Bluetooth connectivity wireless microphone disco lights it's rechargeable Full voice change and effects and echo. And then because she loves anything girly, dressing up, styling things, I thought a styling head would be perfect. So I've got her Elsa's styling head. I wanted to get Rapunzel's, but it was sold out. But maybe for her birthday, I'll get her Rapunzel, but like a makeup one, because this is just to do hair. But she loves to sit there and brush my hair. So yeah, that's gonna be a really good gift for her. And then I got this in Home Bargains. It is age four to six but she wouldn't fit a smaller age. She's quite big, she's two, but she's a big two-year-old. If I buy her clothing, I will buy her age four. Um, and it was 7 99 It comes with Mirabelle's dress, Isabella's dress, and lots of accessories, like the glasses and everything. For 7 99 Home Bargains had some really good things in there, so I recommend going and having a quick look if you have one near you and you need some extra bits. And then I forgot, these are for Flossie and Rue. I thought I would just get them one each because I was gonna get one, but I thought it'd be nice for them to have their own box. They love to colour and draw. Horatia does too, but you had a lot. Um, and it was about 15 pounds on Amazon. It is a box, which is perfect. And it comes with felt tip pens, crayons, young modellers, modelling clay, um, Colour pencils, chalk, twistable crayons, and activity stick packs. I did also buy this from John Lewis. It was £9 reduced right down. I'm not sure if to give it to Horatio or my brother. Because my brother, it sounds silly, he loves like things like this. And he collects like cute and soft things. I know he likes a snapper. 
but equally Horatio's also gonna love it. So I will see on the day what I've got for Horatio and decide who I'm actually going to give it to. And then here is Elsa with a little Olaf. So that is everything for the children's Christmas presents, apart from the scooter, the chest, I think that's it turning up. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching it and it gave you some nice ideas for your children for presents. And um, I hope you all have an amazing Christmas. And if you're interested in checking out the Phoenix subscription, I will link that in my description box below. Please do check it out because they're a really lovely company. Yeah, so I hope you have an amazing Christmas. I should see you again because I'm going to film my Christmas stocking and Christmas Eve boxes. I've got lots to film. So yeah, I'm also going to be doing our Christmas food haul. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I will see you on my next video. Mm -hmm.